And then he says, bless all the peacemakers. Notice he didn't say bless all the troublemakers. We got enough troublemakers in the world. We need more peacemakers. The one who makes peace. A peacemaker bravely declares God's terms which make someone whole. In, in a sense, bless all the peacemakers. You ever seen somebody that's a peacemaker? That's why I love to see little kids in our church, especially when they got siblings, man. Because you, know, you got more than one kid. There's a good chance they're going to have a fight every now and then in your house. Somebody's going to get mad about something. But one of them walks and says, no, nah, we shouldn't do that. Cut it out. I like the peacemakers. He said, bless are the peacemakers. They shall be called, notice, sons of God. The prince of peace is teaching them about peace. Bless all the peacemakers. You want to know how to be a son of God? They shall be called sons of God. Jesus was a peacemaker. Remember when they came to arrest Jesus in the garden? They came to arrest you know, Jesus in the garden, and Peter pulled out his switchblade. Remember? He said, you come over if you want to. And then he said, yabba, you know, in John 18, 10, and hacked off Malchus's ear. Jesus picked it. Could you imagine? I would have ran anyway. Jesus picked his ear back up and put it back on his head. He says, blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called sons of God. This crowd was, you know, hearing something that they never heard before. You know, he's going to say father in this sermon on the mount 17 times. A Jew would never call God father. They would never say father. When he teaches them to pray, is in the Sermon on the Mount. He says, this is how you pray. It's not the Lord's prayer, it's the disciples' prayer. They said, teach us how to be praying men. He says, this is how you pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and so forth. And here he's going to say, Father, because the kingdom, you know, is a kingdom, is a relational kingdom. It's not rules and do's and don'ts. Don't you do that? Don't you do that? Look, it's harder to sin against light than it is against rules. You can sin against rules. We break rules every day. But sin and break somebody's heart and see how that feels. I remember one time being a kid. I was a little kid. And my sister, my mom made us go to the Pantry Pride after church. You know, the Pantry Pride on 26th and Gerard. Pantry Pride, you know. And I remember we got into the Pantry Pride, and I wanted these tasty, these tasty Cake cookies. It was four in a pack. You had the chocolate chip four in a pack, and you had the shortbread ones four in a pack. But me and my dumb self, I had on these French gabardines with the slit pockets. So I said, I'm not paying for them. I'm just going to put them right down in my pockets. And I remember the security guard, I, I sat by the windowsill, and he looked at me, and I looked at him. I'm like, he's not looking at me. I'm looking. You know, he, and then he walked to me and said, hey, son. And he whispered in my ear, go pay for those cookies. <laughs> and I remember running back over there, you know, and, you know, and my sister, she, I don't know where she went. She got home before I did, you know. And I remember my sister saying, he's probably locked up, you know. And I remember my mom looking at me and saying, no, that's not nice to say. But I will never forget what my mom did to me later on that night. We went back to church. Now I'm a church kid still and then going back to church in the evening. And then they had all this to spread dessert. You know how church at Gail was trying to make you fat in church? Cakes and everything. And I ran to my mom and said, yeah, this is good. I said, can I have dessert? And I remember she looked me in my face and said, you had your dessert. <laughs> I said, she sure is not no peacemaker. I can't stand that woman. You know, you'd be saying all kinds of stuff. Be in the room, close the door, crying, God, kill her. You know, something like that. That's the way kids are. Yeah, that is terrible, but that's what kids do. They don't have that way. They say, I don't like her no more. Make me sick. I don't care if you're their mom or not. They don't care. I said, she ain't no peacemaker. <laughs> Here, I'm a thief, you know. It says, bless are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. There's no grandchildren in the kingdom, just sons and daughters. No grandkids in heaven. 